Hi everyone, this is Tammy at Snowstorm Crafts. And if you're new here, welcome. And if you've been here before, welcome back. So today I want to show you guys this fun little flip that we can add to our journals. So the other day I showed you guys how to make some copies on deli paper. How to put it through your uh, copy machine, your printer, and make fun images that we can use in our junk journals. So I wanna show you today how to incorporate them in your junk journal. I will post the link um, showing you guys how to copy these in the right-hand corner so you guys can come check it out. And then you'll be all caught up and you can do this fun little project today. So I wanna show how to incorporate this fun deli paper printer. Uh, I think it turned out really cool. And the deli paper, and um, some of the other stuff that I'm gonna show you will be down in my Amazon links down below. So if you guys come click on those and uh, come check it out. And you can get some fun deli paper. Um, I have some stencils I'm gonna work with today. Uh, did some stenciling around. So there's a hundred of these two by two inch stencils. And those are down in the link below. And then I use some crackle paste. I got some distress. I think these come together. So you have to check those out. And then I know there's some uh, a set of four distressed oxides. And I'm pretty sure it's linen. Let me look. I think it's black soot, antique linen, and vintage photo, and the walnut stain, which is what we're going to use today. So we have that, which is fun. And then in my spray bottle here, I have some um, Rit dye. And that's what I sprayed on here to get that look. The And I'm pretty sure my colors I put in here is wine and black. I think that's what I mixed in here. And it's just a liquid uh, writ dye that I use for my tie dye and in my Etsy shop for fabrics. And you could t uh, spray papers and dye papers with it and stuff. It's really great and it's a, a concentrated liquid. Um, I use it all the time, but... Um, I could put some of that, I could put that down below. I'll put the wine color or something down below for you guys so you can come check them out. And uh, I love the wine, I think it's really cool. And especially when you mix it with like black and stuff. It kind of gives it a neat look. And look at the crackle paste. I just did the stencils not long ago and then I dried it with my heat gun so it should crackle some more as it dries. But it's so much fun. Okay, and I just have some scrap papers from my Tim Holtz here is what I used in the background. Uh, it's the ideology. And I will remember to put this down below. You guys come check it out. It's really fun. It has tons of fun pages in it. If you haven't seen it, whoops, sorry. It's so big, I'm shaking everything. But it's got different size papers in it that you could play with. You get the big ones, and then you got these the little squares in the back. You got the, like, the rectangles, and then there's little squares too. Um, yeah, here they are. I hope you guys can see all this. Uh, and you get the little squares here, which is really fun. So there's different sizes in here and there's fun papers to play with. And it's just a scrapbook, uh, Tim Holtz ideology. It's got 36 pages in it and that's what it is. And I'll, I'll make sure to put that down below. You guys can come check it out. Um, and then... I just printed off images from the internet and did that on these. Scissors, just a little putty knife. Um, I, I did a score because, here, I'll move this aside. So this is what we're working on today is something similar. And what I'm using is just a old tax envelope. I figured it'd be perfect. And uh, I think it's cool how to keep the writing down here. Like this says, do not bend. So I kept that one on here. And I think it'd be cool to just keep the important tax return document. Uh, but what I did is I just cut this to size. This is just a piece of this Tim Holtz scrap paper. And I cut it to size up here, because I'm gonna do it at the top. And then I just took my score, my little scoring tool here. And I just lined it up where I want it, put this, my ruler, and then I just scored it and then folded it. So just like that. Okay. So then 
it'll just hold to where I want it. Okay, so now the next thing I want to do is I'm gonna take this fun little image of a camera. I think it's really neat and it's like a slide, like a film slide. Okay, and then I want to, and I really think it's gonna need, be neat to see the window because this, this stuff, the deli paper is a little see-through. So you should be able to see kind of behind it a little bit. So what I want to do is I want to make sure it's back behind there. So I think we're just going to go like this. We're going to stick it back behind it. And, oh yeah, and my Scotch Create glue stick. And I think that's down below. And I might use my Fabric Fix. I'll show you guys. That's what it looks like. <clears throat> Fabric Fix glue. And I just have it in my jar here, just in my little icing uh, bottle here. And that will be down below too, the little uh, Sugar Bell icing uh, little bottle. It's great to put your glue in. Okay, so I'm just gonna give it a little glue down here, just on the edges. So we don't need this for now. Okay. Oh, I probably should have cut it first before I put my paper on there. Well, I like to do everything the hard way. So just take your paper off for a second. And you're wanting to get a little slit going here in the middle. There you go. Uh, just enough to get it ribbon. And then go ahead and glue it back down. This is just enough to tack it down because uh, I'm gonna go ahead and sew around the edges like I did this one. And then I put a little bit of uh, some netting underneath, some tea dyed netting. So you can play around fabrics and stuff like that, which I'll show you. So I just did a little snip and then you can put the paper down, what you're gonna use for your background image. And then you just start ripping it. So I hope you guys are having a crafty day today and. Uh, getting out your fun little deli papers that you printed off and seeing what we can do here. Doing little rips to see where I want the image to poke out. And this is just so much fun. Okay, so you got those ripped. And then you can also take it and fold pieces back to make it look like it's just kind of busting through. So you can fold these back. Okay. So now, that and then I'm gonna take just a little piece of uh, it's tea dyed a little tea dyed netting here and I think it turns out really cool it's like a uh, I do a tea dye bundle and I let them sit for like a week in a tea dye solution and if you guys want to see um, just different fabrics and stuff like that if you want to see uh, um, I like tie dye them up, kind of. I do like cool tie dye uh, ruffles, and then tie them, and and then let them sit in the solution of the tea dye, and they turn out really cool and grungy. So if you want to see that process, I'll put that in the right hand corner here, and you guys come check out that video. It's pretty cool. You see all the pretty fabrics. Okay, so I'm gonna just kind of stick this underneath, and if you guys are not gonna be sewing. Just make sure that you got it really good, glued really good in the back, and glue these down too on the inside if you're gonna put some fabrics in there. Um, but I'm just putting them in enough because I know I'm gonna take it and sew around, so I'll catch them with the needle and the thread. Here. 
And then I'm going to go to my sewing machine and just go ahead and I'm going to do it about three times around. So I'm doing it all before I get it to the envelope. So you want to, whatever you want to sew on now is your best option. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to go around and uh, some of these little pieces that I did. It's just the extras that when we ripped it out, I didn't want to waste much. And I got some extra little just scrap papers. I'm going to go ahead and do some sewing and add some fabric to them. Just some little netting like that, just to tie it all together. So I'm gonna just go around and do some sewing on some scrap papers too. So I'll be right back. All right, so I went and sewed around everything here that I wanted and I think I have it placed how I want here. So I'm just gonna glue it all down. I'm just gonna get it all glued down and we'll go from there. Okay, so we are all glued down. I think it's looking pretty cool so far. So you got a little pocket. I think it's so much fun. Okay, so now let's go ahead and mess around with some stenciling. And maybe let's ink first. So we got walnut. So I just want to grunt. I want to grunge this up, but I'm thinking I'm gonna put the stencils down and then do some fun spray on top. Okay, so let's make sure you can bend it. Okay, so I went ahead and just did a little half hole punch here, little circle punch. And I wanna show you guys, these are down on my Amazon uh, links down, this, down, down below. And we got a two inch, a one inch, and then like a half an inch. So it's a nice little set. So that's the back, which I want to put a fun paper here that I did with you guys a little bit ago on um, mini, what I call it, mini um, master boards is what I called it. And it's fabrics and some napkins, decoupage, and it's all decoupaged onto um, mixed media paper, like five by seven, like watercolor paper. Uh, and I think I have those down below too. It's like you get 250 of them and they're really cool watercolor like papers. And I use them all the time. But I did that and then I photocopied it off. So I think that's really fun. And I was thinking about putting this like here and then we could just cut out a little thing right there. So I went ahead and went with the theme of sewing around, but always glue, gluing is an option. That's always another option. And um, I just happened to sew because I like sewing, but I went ahead and did that around it. So yeah, I got that done. And I wanted to show you guys, I forgot to show you this. Um, these little papers here are avocado dyed. And then I made some fun eco prints with you guys or some botanical prints. These are from my garden and I did them on um, the, uh, let me go grab that real quick. Okay, it's just easier to show you guys. Um, I made this with you guys the other day too. I could put that in the right hand corner if you guys wanna learn how to make this fun little just pouch. It's from my Amazon packaging. I can put that in the corner. Um, let's see. So I did it all for my originals. I wanted to put my originals in here. So I like to take them over and uh, photocopy them and scan them off. So this is on uh, uh, painting paper, the, the mixed media paper. So I just wanted to show you that. Oh, and this is the one, um, I think this is the exact one. This is the one I did with you guys on camera on film or on video, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I did a fun, just, uh, it's a collage. So they're just like a fabric collage, mini um, master boards is what I was calling them. But I wanted to show you guys the paper here. So this is my eco prints. 
Um, and I have this mixed media paper down below in the links. It's really cool. Uh, but I just did some botanical prints with you guys. I can put that in the right-handed corner if you want to see how I did it. But I just take them and scan them on top of my... Uh, so you guys could totally do this. Put them on, get them how you want them and just put them on your in your printer scan them and put them on i just did avocado dyed paper and uh i mean it turns out really cool and you can use them like in projects and stuff like this you know where you could just make collages with them or use them as background pages or just put them in your journals just like that and stuff so they're really fun i just want to show you that really quick but that's what these are right here so i just incorporated them in and it just kind of gives you something to grab and you know rip off and put down so it's kind of fun gives a little texture and it's already ready to go you know okay so I got this far now I want to go ahead and do the let's do crackle paste and I'm just gonna take it and put down some fun and just wherever I want to put it here and it's really crumbly when you open it so I would open it over a trash can or something because it always gets all crunchy around the edges, but you just take a little bit here. You really don't need much. And then you just kind of put it down. And it just dries so cool. It's got that cool crackle look to it. Hence the name. <laughs> okay. Ah, see, I did a little too much, but that's okay. I think it still looks cool, even when it seeps through like that. Um, and then I was taking it with the other side and just doing a reverse image here because I really don't want to waste it. And even if it turns out just like that, I am fine with it because it gives it a cool, if you look here, it just gives it, see, I just kind of did, uh, I did some here. You can see the B a little bit. It just kind of gives it a little extra texture in the background and it gets it off your stencil. And I would make sure to wash your stencil pretty quickly because it does stick pretty fast to it. So just try to get most of the excess off of it, you know, with the the palette brush or whatever, or the palette knife and then just scrape it back in and, um, and then go rinse it or wipe it with a paper towel or something. Um, but that's all I'm doing is just kind of giving it some interest here. This is just fun to play with. You can scrape some off and put it back in. And then pop it up. Just give it some texture around. I like to use all of it up. Okay, so I'm gonna keep continuing doing that and we'll go from there. So I think this turned out super grungy and fun. And I, I went, I did the front here and then the back. And I wanted to show you guys, uh, I did the walnut stain or the walnut, yeah, the walnut stain, the oxide one, and then put the crackle paste on top and it turned like a cool yellow. Like that's kind of fun. And then I spritzed with my Rit dye here I got a cool purple color. So that's the back of it. And then that's the front. And on the front here, I wanted to put a little cluster. Um, on this one, I went ahead and did a ruffle over here. And uh, if you guys want to see how I do my ribbon ruffles and clusters, I'll put that video in the right hand corner for you. But yeah, this one turned out really cool. And if you want, because it's kind of because with the sprays and all that stuff, it kind of wrinkled up, but you can always press it. You just put it under a press or something heavy book or something. But I did this with you guys the other day, and this is my little cluster journal. And I like to go through it. I made like these little cute clusters with you guys. Uh, and if you want to see how I uh, did the journal, I'll put it in the right-hand corner. And the cluster video is the same as the ruffle one, so you can come check those out. But let's see. 
just want to see which one. So I kind of just tack them down in here with some thread after I make them and then see which one I would like to, to put down with it. I kind of like this one. I'm liking that one. So what you got to do is just take a stitch ripper or some sharp scissors or something and just pop this off of here and then pull it off. And there you go. So it's a cute little just cluster journal or snippet journal or whatever you want to call it. And then you got your cluster ready. And you can even add some more threads behind it if you want. But I think it'd be kind of cute to just glue it up here. It'll look nice. I'm trying to figure out where do I want it. Because this is going to glue to the page. And I'll show you guys that in a second. But uh, I think it would look good like up here. So I'm gonna take my Fabrifix glue. And just do a glue down. And then there we go. And if you want, you can grunge it up some more. So I think this is a fun, just little grungy uh, little flip to put into your journal. And maybe you can even do a little spritz on it. Like that. Just give it something, a little blot. Just mess around. See how you want it. And then there we go. So that's kind of a fun little additive to it. Okay, and let me grab my journal here just to show you guys. And it just makes a great little flip here. So all you got to do is just take your little flap, take some glue, glue it down, glue it just like that, however you want it. And then you got your little tuck spot here. Make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay. Got your little tuck spot to put stuff in your little pockets. You know, whatever you want to put in there. And you just glue it like that. And then it flips like that. And then it goes in your journal and flips up. So there we go. Or you could just, you know, stick it like that and put a paper clip on it. If you don't want to glue it. If you want to just take it in and out, you could just do this. And just paper clip it on like that. So there you go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it informational. And if you could please subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell and you guys can see my next video when I post it. Like, comment, and share, and let's grow together. And keep on crafting.